Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey, everybody. Here we are with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be doing a tier ranking list on all the Jurassic World sets that came out from the movie Jurassic World Dominion. We've got, we bought all the sets and we're going to do a tier ranking list for you guys with our opinions on them. But before I go any further, let me just say, if you like this video, any of the videos on the channel, please... Like, comment, and subscribe. And let's rank these Jurassic World Dominion sets after the intro coming in. Now. Nah. All right, I know you guys are probably not a huge fan of these, but uh, since I've posted some videos on it on the channel, it's been getting some traction. So somebody out there likes the this uh, Jurassic World sets. And since we have them all, I figured it would behoove us to go ahead and try and rank them. Now, there is all these foil packs, they're called. Um, we do not have a single solitary one of them. Oh. Um, I'll show you guys basically what they, you know, look like. I got a couple of different examples. Oh, here. these are from the, the, the books or the magazines. Uh, you can, like this one comes with an Owen and another one with an Owen. Yeah. There's a magazine and another one with this little. Oh, Jurassic. I can't remember what had that guy's name. Is. He's the, um, he's the, uh, the one guy that wants to weaponize. Blue. No, that's not him. Yeah, uh huh. Uh uh. He doesn't. That, that, that minifigure had long hair. He's just a random guard dude. Oh. But I'm putting all these in D. I'm not wasting a lot of time with those. But if it's if it's a new Jurassic World like poly bag foil bag they call them, it's going down in D. And if you have problems with that, well, tough tomatoes. <laughs> well, I saw that at Meyer yesterday. That's why I thought I knew who he was. And I am going to do my best to say some of these dinosaurs. I actually know my dinosaurs rather well, but some of them, they're just plain difficult to, to um, say the word. Um, first one up is this set is Stygomolic Dinosaur Escape. <laughs> he starts with a hard one. <laughs> and it is set number 76939, 107 pieces and three minifigures. This is a four plus set. And the main reason that we got it was to have the uh, Camp Crustacean girls. There's uh, some of the, the girls that are in there, the Camp Crustacean. I think I put it in C unless you object. Nope, I don't, I don't object. It's just a small set. It really, I don't even know why it had a, uh, a, sl a slide. So it was, it was kind of a little weird to have a slide in the middle of... A set like that. Yeah. But hey, they got to add something. And, you know, kids like slides. And it, like I said, it's a four plus set. So the reason why, most of the reason why we got it was because of the Camp Crustacean. And then next up, we have T Rex Dinosaur Fossil Exhibit, set number 76940, 190 pieces and two minifigures. Um, this is one of a couple that I put together. I was say you did this. And. Um, I actually really enjoyed this build and I, I, I am a big fan of this set. Um, I think it looks great in our Jurassic Central Park. Um, well, cause we have the, the Trironosaurus Rex head. No, we have the T Triceratops. Triceratops. Head. Okay. I, I think I might put it in a for now, but I, I might, it might go down. It's not D. an S tier, but yeah, it might go down. To it might go down, but for there now it's going there. And then, oh my gosh! Next up, we have Carnotaurus Dinosaur Chase, set number seven six nine four one, two hundred twenty one pieces and three minifigures. You did this one too, didn't you? Um, or did I? 
I think Georgie did it. Well, I remember the dual. I mean, he probably started it because I remember the dual wheels. The on dual the back. truck. Yeah. But uh, I would say that one's probably a B. Uh, the dinosaur is great. The truck is eh, maybe A. Yeah, I, I, it's a nice. The, the, the Carnotaurus is, is cool. a nice uh, dinosaur to have. So if I'm ranking it on the dinosaur, then yeah. It might again. Those might go down as we get further along here. And let me see. Uh, Brickapick says, "I nearly bought this one. Love the dinosaur." Which one? The Carnotaurus, or no? I bet. I bet you it was the um, the skeleton one. <coughs> Excuse me. And King Ollendorf says, I prefer the idea fossil set. Mm. Um, Hugh says, I actually like your tier list, Mikey. I like to hear your views on sets. Well, thank you, sir. Hey. Um, but we got Barry Onyx Dinosaur Boat Escape set number 76942, 283 pieces, four minifigures. And Georgie put this all together himself as well. And I got to say, hey, this, this ship is pretty stinking cool. It's awesome. And the Baryonyx that it comes with is pretty stinking cool as well. Um, this is one of the few sets from this theme that I've been contemplating doing a review on. Um, and I'm gonna one in S tier, I think. I think so too. I agree. Even though it's not a ton of pieces for how much the set costs, um, you get that big, nice uh, ship and everything. So you know, I'm a fan of it. And it's a pretty, pretty sturdy ship. Like I helped him put stickers on and everything, and it, it's a pretty, uh, like it's not it's not flimsy at all. <laughs> And then next up, we got Pteranodon Chase, set number 76943, 82 pieces, two minifigures. This was his first set from this line. Uh, yeah, but having said that, it's nothing spectacular whatsoever. It's, yeah, um, the the Pteranodon's not bad, but yeah, it's small. Yeah, the Pteranodon's not too bad, but... Um, it's, I'd say it's a B set or C. I, yeah. I think it's a C. I think it's better than the other. Yeah. I think it's better than yep. the other one. Yeah. Okay. I think anyway. And then next up, we got the T Rex Dinosaur Breakout set number 76944, 121 pieces and three minifigures. This is a four plus set as well. But this is an awesome four plus. Set. Yeah, it's one of the best four plus sets that you can probably buy. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it, it's pretty awesome, and of course the T Rex is just awesome, and the the fencing is pretty cool too. It's expensive, but I mean you can probably catch it right now on sale because yeah. I know they all went on sale over Christmas. Mm -hmm. But you know I was kicking myself because I paid full price for them all. <laughs> um. But I think I think I'm still gonna put it in B because you because it is still a four plus set. The build itself isn't all that impressive. That's better than the Carnotaurus. I don't know if I agree with that. Uh, let let's let's do a compare and contrast here. I don't know. The T Rex comes with a truck, a jeep, and three minifigures. A truck and a, and a helicopter. That one comes with a helicopter and a fence and three minifigures. The electric fence is pretty awesome. All right, all right, all right. I, I, I'm coming over to the dark side. I still think I like the bones better, though. Okay, I'll do that, but I don't think it's better than the Carnotaurus set. Or I think it's better than the Carnotaurus set. And then... <laughs> Next up, we have the Atrociraptor Dinosaur Bike Chase, set number 76945, 160 pieces, too many figures. Um, the Atrociraptor is nice. And see, so you get Owen, but he comes in every single one of these sets. And there's the long-haired dude, like I said. He comes in 
George's probably got 10 of him too. This was a weird set when I put it together. It's like an indoor outdoor set. It's weird. Yeah. Um I would say it's a B tier. Yeah, this is a B tier set. I agree. Yeah. Next up we have Blue and Beta Velociraptor Capture, set number 76946. 166 pieces and two minifigures. And again, here's that long hair dude comes in all these sets. And then this is, I forget the girl's Maisie. name. Maisie. Um, but really what this is for is blue and beta. Is beta. That's well, and this blue. Is this is the well, only one that has blue as well. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. Well, this line. Of this line, okay. yeah. I was going to say, um, that's not the first time we saw blue, though. So it was really about beta that this set was about. <laughs> for me, anyway. But having said that, I, I think it's a B tier set. Yeah. But I think it's better than the other one. Yeah. And then this is the hardest one to pronounce, so excuse me. It is the Queen of Zalakotalus Plain <laughs> Ambush, set number 76947, 283 pieces and three minifigures. And... The Quizzolados, the Kota Klagru, the big pterodon. The big bird <laughs> is actually a really cool uh, molded animal. It sure is. And the plane itself is pretty awesome. It is so awesome. You know what it reminds me of? Tailspin. It does. You're when I right. built it, because I built that one, and I was like, this feels like Tailspin so bad. <laughs> like they could totally turn that into Tailspin. <laughs> But that is an awesome set. That plane is cool. And I think I might do a review yeah, on that one. This is another like one it. we're contemplating doing a review on. Um, I'm going to put it S tier, but I think the boat is better. I do think the boat is better. Yes. I agree with that. I won't argue with that one. And then we have the T Rex and Atrociraptor Dinosaur Breakout, set number 76948. 442 pieces and four minifigures. And not only do you get a brown T-Rex, you get another Trociraptor. And the truck is awesome. The build itself is, it's nice for what it is. Um, but you get a T-Rex and a truck. It was truck. just thrown on there. That truck is nice. It's a nice truck. I built yeah. that truck. And it's a, it's a nice truck. All these Jurassic Park vehicles and stuff are why I'm getting rid of vehicles out of our city. <laughs> we don't have any vehicles left. Or we don't have any well, space left. Yeah, because we're getting all these nice vehicles. I've had to make, They're nice too. make, make some changes. You yeah. know, you, you got to have a nice car if you want to drive around my gen city these days. <laughs> you ain't driving around no trash in our city. Um, I'm getting a Lotus. Yeah. <laughs> Mama's getting a, a Lotus. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is another A set. Yeah. But I think I like the probably other the, two better. It's probably the or S tier. I mean, even though the dinosaur is number one on that, the the features are better. The the truck or the the plane and the boat are better yeah. than the truck, for sure. And then next up. We have Ooh. the Giganotosaurus and Therizinosaurus attack, set number 76949, 760 pieces and six mini figures. And this was the big set of the way. And this, this really is a great set. If you guys can get it, I, I highly recommend it. Um, it's absolutely the best set in this wave, yes. in my opinion. And not only that, I would go so far as to say that if you're a Lego investor, you like to get into Lego for money and whatnot, um, this is one that I would recommend getting and putting in a storage room for like five to ten years and then seeing what it's worth. Yeah. You, you have Mikey J's uh, <laughs> financial advice on this one <laughs> i could see this one because I, I will be surprised if they released another giganotosaurus or or, another, a or a therizinosaurus i i think that this is this is a top tier mm -hmm. set for not only the theme but again for lego collecting and it's the number one set in I this agree. in this wave agreed <sighs> 
and even the tower's cool on that and it, even the helicopter's cool on that mm -hmm. yeah it's it's a uh, it's all around top notch in my opinion yeah and that giganotosaurus is pretty awesome yeah he almost looks like a spinosaurus with that fin yeah and then next up we have triceratops pickup truck ambush Set number 76950, 189 pieces and four minifigures. And um, this is – the truck in this set is actually really cool. Um, and for you Back to the Future fans out there, if you want to have Marty McFly's truck, this is the set to buy because I'm telling you, it looks like in person, this picture doesn't do it justice, mm -hmm. but in person, it looks like Marty McFly's truck from Back to the Future. And I've been trying to talk Georgie <laughs> into letting Marty drive it. And he keeps like, no, it's a Jurassic Park set truck. No, goes in my Jurassic World. I'm like, but but it looks just like Marty's truck, buddy. <laughs> um, But the Triceratops um, is nice. And you don't. It is a nice Triceratops. You don't get a lot of uh, herbivores unfortunately you know they're all about the meat eaters when it comes to these lego toys um but having said that let me see uh, i'm saying b oh it's not an a no way i'm i, I think oh. it's going right there Pretty cool. It's not better than blue and beta because you get blue and beta. The truck is better, but the rest of it is inferior is what I'm saying. I'd rather have blue and beta over the two types. Well, because we, we got blue in another set before, so. All right. I, I, I like I, that Triceratops, though. I do lot. declare. I do declare. And then last up, we have Pyroraptor and Dilophosaurus, Dilophosaurus Transport, set number 76951, 240 pieces and three minifigures. And this is another nice vehicle it from is. this wave. And it comes with Ian Malcolm. And, and, and Sadler. Sadler, two classic le legacy carriers, and Pyroraptor's cool, and the Dilophosaurus, Dilophosaurus, however you say it, um, is pretty cool as well. So even though it's on the smaller side, eh, it's it's got it's got some stuff going for it. I would say, um, is it better than Blue and Beta, dear? I don't think so. Is it better than the Triceratops and Marty truck? I don't think so. Okay, well, it's going there. Okay. And I think I'm taking this one down to C. Okay. Uh, is there anything you would have me change? I'm pretty happy with this, I think. No, I think I think everything looks good. You're satisfied with that ranking? Yeah. What's this one again? That's the T Rex. Oh, the T Rex. Okay, never mind. Yeah. I just want to make sure it had a yeah. T Rex on it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. So I you got one T Rex and S tier with the, the the plane, the cool plane, and the cool boat. And then, of course, the Giganotosaurus set's got to be S tier. And then we got two, at, two T Rexes and the Carnotaurus in A tier. And then, you know, we go from there. Uh oh. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. You guys tell me if uh, if I completely crap the bed here or not. <laughs> Infamous Convict says, got me wanting those S-tier MJP approved sets. <laughs> <laughs> they are, you know, you'd be surprised how awesome this line is. I fell right in love with them just because those dinosaurs are so cool. And then even the... Um, the vehicles the rest of the builds are subpar but the vehicles and the dinosaurs make the sets so he's saying the t-rex breakout seven six nine five six and yes i did not include that set and the reason why i didn't include it was for a couple of reasons first and foremost we don't own it 
But upon doing it, I kind of want to buy it for the Jeeps. Um, but that isn't the only reason why we didn't include it. We also didn't include it because um, we were doing this based on the Jurassic World. Of Dominion. Dominion. And, you know, so these are Jurassic World sets um, where that one is technically Jurassic Park. So, oh, is that the one with the, the cars? Yeah, and it's got the brick-built oh, T-Rex, yeah. which I'm not a fan of the brick-built T-Rex. Um, but I do like the Jurassic Park Jeeps and, 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 and I would, I would like to almost get it for some more fencing as well yeah. for our, uh, our, our layout. Um, but just for the sake of argument, where would I put that one? I would probably have to put it in S tier as well. Um, but, even if it is a brick build. but I would put it, I think I'd put the other S tiers in front of it. Um, just because the I'm cars, are yeah, so classic. The, it, it's all about the jeeps and the fencing and stuff mm -hmm. for me. Um, it's not about the the brick built um, T Rex. I have no interest in. Oh man. Um, but that is one that I, I do have on, on my radar. And then another one, um, Jen wants to go back and get is the actual gate that says you are not, you know, I'm gonna Park. that though. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna make us one of that. I well. went through this summer, I went through on um studio and I rebuilt that in studio from the parts and the instructions in, in, in studio to see what I can change in order to get it because when I brick linked it, it was the same price through BrickLink as it was to get the set. Richard Cranian says, it's the scene that made the Jurassic Park movies. Very yes. iconic scene. Yes, yes. absolutely. Um, yes. As a general rule, I I prefer Jurassic Park over Jurassic World. I, I enjoy the Jurassic World movies for what they are. Uh, the first one is the best. Um, the last one I enjoyed... Um, the second one I thought was kind of okay. Um, but. You know, at first I was irritated about Maisie, the character Maisie. Because I'm like, really? We need to add another storyline to this this whole storyline, you know? Well, that's, a, that's, that's one of the things that irritates me about film franchises. When you introduce a character in the fifth film because we never saw Maisie before but or until, heard about her until the fifth film and then you make her such an integral part of the franchise like that just that, that's just sloppy writing in my opinion um if you want to make i was okay with them making the villain uh what was his name again uh Dobson. Dobson. We got Dobson At here. least they brought somebody back. See, nobody cares. From, you know, <laughs> the, we've heard that name before, but, you know, to make Maisie such a big part, I thought was kind of weak sauce. Um, I ended up liking her, though. She she has grown on she, me. Yeah, um, I did end up liking her. But my official film ranking would be the first Jurassic Park one. And then a lot of people think I'm crazy, um, but I am a huge fan of the Spinosaurus because, A, the Spinosaurus was a real dinosaur. Um, <laughs> and, and, it, and despite what the films say, the Spinosaurus is the biggest land predator known to man to date. We've never found anything bigger than the Spinosaurus. So even though that film has some questionable writing at times, um, it's my second favorite of the franchise's Jurassic Park 3. And then I would go with Jurassic World 1 at number 3. And then I would go with The Lost World, Jurassic Park 2 at number 4. And then I would go with Jurassic World Dominion at 5. And then Jurassic World... Fallen Kingdom at six. We're doing another tier list. Yeah, we're doing a tier list inside of a tier list. <laughs> so as a as a whole, <laughs> the Jurassic Park movies to me are far superior than the Jurassic World movies. Um, like I, I know my son, he loves the Indominus Rex and the um, the the Indoraptor. But I mean, I think that that's again, I think that's kind of weak sauce to just kind of make up dinosaurs, make up dinosaurs as you go along. They are very nice movies. 
Yes, but and the first one, I generally the first Jurassic World movie, I I, I generally think is is a really good movie. Um, if somebody wants to say Jurassic World one is better than Jurassic Park three, um, I wouldn't disagree with them as a film as a whole. I just uh. I, I'm a I'm a Spinosaurus fanboy. I, I, I was wishing they'd bring it back. I know, and, and they, they never brought that Gigamotosaurus. And I like the Giganotosaurus as well. I thought that that was a fun thing. But Dave, my biggest problem with that movie is they're creating a whole generation of young kids that are are gonna believe what they say, and that movie is fact when it is not. The Giganotosaurus is not bigger than the Spinosaurus. And for them to say that, Dr. Alan Grant says the biggest predator known to man. Dr. And, Alan Grant and, lied! And, yeah, that's, I mean, you're just leading kids astray, and that's disappointing. Especially considering when you look at the first Jurassic Park movie, how authentic they actually were to what they knew about dinosaurs at that time. So. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, we got merch store. If you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. We got everything. You want some Mikey J stuff? We got the Mikey J Productions for you. So take a chance and stop by. We'll take care of you.